quarantine lockdown and I've been thinking of um, what some moms and dads are probably struggling with right at this point is probably they're getting pretty frustrated in the kitchen so I uh, wanted to share a couple of ideas that I've learned along the way <laughs> ah Luna Luna wants to be in it so she's gonna cry but <laughs> <laughs> so we have four kids and um, Luna so she's always in this kitchen too but along the way we've been homeschooling for about 14 years and there are some times where I just get super frustrated with feeling like I was in the kitchen all the time. And especially when kids are like, you feed them and then around, have, get breakfast cleaned up and then a little bit later, we call it 11 Z's after the hobbits, um, where they're like hungry again. And I'm like, I just fed you. Like, okay, so I feel like I'm spending a lot of time in the kitchen. So here are some tips that I've done. Um, Anytime we've moved, which we've moved a bunch of times, I set up my kitchen to be very kid friendly because rather than getting frustrated with little people all in here, I try to get them involved so they can help me. And it has actually worked because my 10 year old now can pretty much make a dinner by herself just because she's been used to doing that. Um, but I'll just show you real quick. So here's our dishwasher here. And normally kitchens are set up where you put the dishes up here. And I've always been like, let me make this more kid friendly. So I actually put the plates down here and I also put the glasses down here, which when grown-ups come, they're like, where are your glasses? Everyone's looking up here. All we have up here is coffee cups and wine, coffee cups and wine glasses, and up here is all the good china. So, and that is totally strategic for kids to help me unload dishwasher and put them away here. So by the time they're about this tall, and you know, none of our stuff's super neat fancy, so if things break, you know, I don't, I don't freak out or anything, but they're, they can help me in this area. Um, another thing, is I also um, have uh, my daughter, she loves to bake, so this is kind of her cabinets down here, so I let her just take that over and, and um, so she bakes. So it's really designed for kids, um, and they have been trained just to help me. But another thing I was gonna say is um, for snacks at the house, um, I kind of, I've collected cutting boards over the years, um, this one being my favorite. Thanks, Katie, she got me this one. Um, and so I kind of do charcuterie boards for kids all the time where it's easy and this one I actually made for this video and then sure enough my family ate it when they saw it. So it would be like carrots and apples and nuts and avocado and crackers, those go quick. Um, and then I just put it on the table and then I can just leave it and if kids are hungry they see it and they just snack on that rather than constantly going in the refrigerator and I know people are probably kind of rationing or keeping track of their food so to have kids being like in the fridge and in the pantry constantly is probably getting pretty frustrating for everyone. So that's just a couple of quick tips where you can kind of get your kids in the kitchen to actually help you um, and um, thanks for visiting again. Thank you. <laughs>